Hey guys, welcome back to the World War II Solitaire board game channel and another unboxing video. Today we're gonna take a look at Malta Besiege 994-942, a solitaire game by Steve Carey and it's published by Worthington, uh, Worthington uh, Old School War Games. Uh, this is a game that I've been looking forward to very much. I got I backed it on Kickstarter and as you know when you live in, in Europe you pay pay more for shipping than you actually pay for for the game itself uh, Shipping and import fees that is but I uh, I mean I've read great things about this game And I kind of like state of CG engines and I was really happy with Worthington publishing's game uh, Tarava 1943 so I thought uh, I can't lose Okay, I gotta say straight away that I like uh, I like the game box more than <laughs> than I like the dust jacket or whatever you would call that the game box looks a lot better in, in my honest opinion and I would say the same about the back of the box so look at this beautiful box a lot of stuff going on uh, perhaps you're interested in reading the text here and I will hold still for a minute so you can pause the video and look at it complexity is medium solitary suitability is of course high ages 14 and up victory within two hours Designed and craft in the USA, but made in China. All right, let's open up this bad boy. Hmm, I recognize that photo. Isn't that the photo from uh, that card game about those uh, 78 cats or something like that? Uh, hunchbacked Italian planes. Oh, I think so. Okay, we have a log book here, Malta Besiege log book. We're gonna take a closer look at this once we have seen all of the components. We have a bunch of counters. And I popped, popped one of them. And then we have our rules. Everything uh, so far screams high quality. And then we have a chart. All right. Our map. Let's see if we can get it up. Get it. Sounded strange, but uh, it's a game map. Malta besieged. Wow. It's beautiful, isn't it? it smells kind of funky. But it's beautiful. Uh, we get a bunch of. I think we did also in Tarawa 1943. We got a bunch of uh, zip, Ziploc bags. So that's always cool if you don't have those at home. I have a few thousand. We get a D6, which is also cool. And then we have a bunch of cards. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a closer look at all of these components though now that I have shown you everything that's included in the game so I think we should start by taking a look at the map Wow it is uh, quite big quite a big map but yeah it's so nice Draw pile, discard pile, and here we have some, I'm guessing turn. Track and as morale, military supply, or sequence of play. Oh, air assault on Crete, man. I just wanna, I just wanna start playing. When I see this, I just wanna start playing. Okay, I gotta finish my Patton's best campaign, and I gotta finish my uh, the Hunter's C3I <laughs> expansion before I get to this. But I think this might actually be. Uh, what I'll do uh, once I'm done with those games uh, looks fantastic Fantastic, but I think I mean everything that I got from Worthington publishing has been really really high quality Okay, so let's look at our Counters which are falling out Really nice uh, beautiful with period photos high quality counters And the back side looks like that Africa Core Ultra, not ready. All right. Okay, and they're falling out. They are falling out. 
And then we have our helper card. Multi Besiege Convoy display. We have different operations. Mm -hmm. And we have our logbook. I'm guessing this is just to, you know, uh, document your victories or defeats. And uh, you have notes, the date, the player name, and, you know, how you. Um, were defeated or how you won. So that's always appreciated. To you don't have to make your own after action report to fill in. And then we have our game rules. So this is of course a pure solitaire game, and those are always my favorites. I do appreciate two and more play games that have solitaire modes, but when a game is made from bottom up to become to be solitaire, it's usually the best in my opinion that is well, the, ru the rules look nice looks uh, well laid out not too small text so I mean you will read a page like this in you know a short amount of times we have a bunch of uh, optional rules I like that and we have some that give player advantage some that give um, Play disadvantage, so to make it harder or um, easier. Example of play, that's very good. And designer notes. I've been to Malta and I was at the RAF Museum and it was just very cool, awesome. And we have a bunch of cards here, which I'm guessing are going to be what actually drives the game. So the backside of these cards all look the same. They are a little bit, uh, definitely not straight. They are bended, or bent, I guess would be the correct English word for it. But I'll put something heavy on them and we'll fix them. So I'm going to give you a second here for every card. To give you a chance to pause the video if you want to have a closer look. Beautiful uh, design, beautiful card art, uh, period photos, period time photos. Really cool. And that, my friends, is Malta Besieged by Worthington Publishing. Stay tuned to the channel, because I hopefully will play this game uh, very soon. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like the video, and share it. Okay guys, I'll see you next time.